faith in your heart. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Hallelujah. As I walk along the way, the way is now. Oh, yes. Holy Spirit, be my. Sing it again loud and clear. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. Hallelujah. As I walk along the way, the way. Oh yes, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah, make my life all again. Oh yes, sense me. Blessed Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, sing it loud and clear. Move me now. Hallelujah, make my life whole again. Oh, yes, sir, Spirit, over me. Hallelujah, come and reign in my life today. Almighty God, come and Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah, Let the living water flow by my soul. Let the Holy Spirit come and check on control of every situation that has my mind. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm body on you. I like Jesus here. Jesus here. Jesus here. And sing to the Father. Father. Blessed Holy Spirit, 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 now louder than anyone here, do something new in my life, something new in my life. Do something new in my today, 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 today. Hallelujah. Do something new 
in my life. Something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Do something great. Do something great in my life. Something great. Great in my life. Do Hallelujah. Do something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in my life. Complete, complete, complete in Him. I am complete in Him. Complete, complete, complete in Him. Hallelujah. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Complete. Hallelujah. I am complete. Go ahead. Your hand. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, yeah, complete. Huh? Hallelujah. Complete, hallelujah. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send the fire, send the fire again. The Holy Ghost, send the fire. Send the fire, fire. Oh yes, oh yes, sir. The Holy Ghost, fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire, Holy Ghost and fire. Pentecost and fire, fire burning. Our Lord God, now ask me, now heavens and the earth. By thy great power, our Lord God, the house made our hands and the earth by the outstretched. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah, great and mighty God, great in counsel, mighty in thee. Mighty indeed, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult for you. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything, is there anything to have for? Hallelujah, is there anything, anything, anything to have for you? Is there anything, is there anything to have? Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. The fullness of the God that bodily dwell in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord, and the fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, complete. In. Hallelujah. Complete. 
Amen. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies and declare this loud and clear. Say it with all your heart. Say it without any intention to negotiate with the enemy. Say every conspiracy against my destiny from the heavenlies scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter the conspiracy in the name of Jesus. Ma kapote sente laka riba laka tina ni kaya boshende. Scatter the conspiracy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, minister to us. Lay your hands upon our lives. You have all powers in your hand. And in your own dictionary, the word impossibility does not exist. Anyone confronted by any impossible situation here, let them experience the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Attacking dream defilement. Attacking dream defilement. Brothers, what did I say just now? How about sisters? And you will do well to be very attentive to this short message before we begin to pray. Attacking dream defilement. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7, 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 It's important that you look at this passage Are we there? Having therefore these promises dearly beloved let us cleanse ourselves let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Cleansing ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and filthiness of the spirit. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Straight away you can see that the flesh can become filthy. The spirit can become filthy. Is that attacking dream defilement? No battle has ever been won with just a strong defense. Defense alone is not enough to win a battle. If you go to the boxing ring and they say these people are going to fight 12 rounds, round one, fight. And all you did was just to defend your face, you are not fighting back. The person will lose. No battle is ever won with a strong defense. So you have to defend, you have to fight. Also, you must understand, nobody can outgrow spiritual warfare. You must learn to fight. The fact that you are struggling now, it shows that you have not been defeated. And you should make up your mind that you will not be defeated. And whenever a miracle is coming, spiritual warfare always surrounds the birth of a miracle. So whether we want it or not, whether we desire it or not, we are part of a battle, we cannot be neutral. Everyone has dream criminals assigned against him or her. The job of that dream criminal is to derail and to disturb. The devil has given personal assignment to these dream criminals to harass and afflict people. And these dream criminals, they trail people as if a dog is trailing an animal. 
the dream criminals know our weaknesses and they use those weaknesses against us their greatest attacks come when you are at the edge of a great spiritual or physical breakthrough and their attacks become unbearable and unmerciful when you come close to achieving achieving bigger things for god there is something called defilement defilement is a very serious thing in the bible any time there is defilement in the bible god gets very angry god says your body is the tabernacle of god whosoever pollutes the temple of god shall be destroyed and so god says he will destroy anyone polluting his temple this is why i'm praying for somebody here this morning any power defiling the temple of your life shall be scattered in the name of jesus let your amen be loud and clear let your amen be loud and clear anytime there is defilement in the bible god gets very angry and defilement has led to many many tragedy close your eyes and raise up your right hand to the heavenly say every power of defilement afflicting my life scatter in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare it scatter it in the name of jesus That's right. Deal with the power of defilement. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this again loud and clear. Every power standing by to mock me. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. If he's standing by to mock you. Masepo katenda kaya bo shente rabaka. Riba satende kaya ba. Aha. Yes. Any power standing by to allow me to scorn, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My spirit man reject defilement. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? Can you shout it again loud and clear? Let your voice roar like fire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus name we pray amen so body can be defiled the soul can be defiled the spirit can be defiled to defile is to violate to defile is to pollute to defile is to contaminate to defile is to corrupt to defile is to disgrace. To defile is to stain. And once the defilement is taking place, it will chase so many good things away. That's why I'm praying for somebody here again today too. 
that any angel of darkness chasing good things away from you shall be arrested today. He shall be arrested. He shall be arrested. They shall be arrested. They shall be arrested in the name of Jesus. They shall be arrested in the name of Jesus. To defile is to mess up and to tarnish is therefore a tragedy if you allow defilement to destroy your life close your eyes again and say this with a loud voice my father arise for my sake can I hear you shouting that loud and clear is that the loudest you can say it my enemies in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare your heart and clear maseta kaya bo shendera bo kosente yaba Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my body, my soul, my spirit, receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, charge yourself with that fire. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Rise up on your feet now and raise your two hands to the heavenlies. And let nobody's voice be louder than yours as you sing this song loud and clear. Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul unto thee, Lord? Do I lift up my soul, oh my God? I trust in thee. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemy try over. Sing it again loud and clear unto thee, O Lord, unto thee, O Lord. And lift up my soul, unto thee, O Lord. My soul, oh my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed, not my enemies dry up.
Say this now loud and clear. Let my enemies be put to shame. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Let's sit down for a few minutes more. To defile is to discolor. To make impure. To make something filthy. To make it unclean. Some time ago, a virgin was raped by armed robbers. Three things had gone wrong now. Our body was defiled. Our soul got defiled. Because it got depressed for having a virtue stolen. The spirit became defiled. Because now she hates men with perfect hatred. Defilement is a serious matter, beloved. Many years ago, I put certain questions onto the Lord. I asked him certain questions of things that were bothering me. I said, Lord, why is it that some people do a lot of hot praying, but trouble seems to just multiply? Why is it that heavens just refuse to open to some people? Why do some people do multiple deliverance, but no breakthrough? Why is it that some people's dreams are positive, but reality that happens to them is negative? Why is it that some people have seemingly silence from heaven? Or scarce favor or no favor at all? It was then many years ago the Lord dropped that word into my spirit said defilement. Once there is defilement in your spirit, the glory of God cannot fill your life. Once there is defilement in the person's life, the person becomes a second hand Christian. Once there is defilement in the person's life, demons will continue to pay you regular visits. Once there is defilement in a person's life, the presence of God will not rest upon such life. The anointing of God will not rest upon the person. It will, it will be like fire trying to burn wet wood. And sicknesses will be very close to the person. Any weapon fired by the enemy, the enemy will just be using the weapon to test the body of the person. Because the spirit, the soul, the body is defiled. Now, if you are here this morning, you say, I don't dream at all. You have a great problem indeed. In fact, to be quite honest with you, that problem is greater than the problem of all the witches and wizards in Nigeria put together. Because your dream life is your spiritual monitor. Your spiritual monitor. A monitor is just like this television screen or this screen behind me you are looking at now. It's, that's your spiritual monitor. It tells you what's happening in your life in the spirit realm. Those dreams are pictures of occurrences in the spirit realm. Something that is happening in the spirit realm. Those dreams are wonderful if they come from God. But they are terrible if they come from carnality, if they come from deceitfulness of the heart and from the devil. There are spirits that defile people in dreams. And they do that defiling with sometimes reckless abandon. And once the defilement enters into the person, if your dream monitor is sharp, you will know that you have been defiled. The major agenda of defilement is to push heaven away. To make the person to be stinking in the nostril of heaven. And you won't know why. Angels refuse to come. The lovely incense from heaven is far. The good dreams disappear. All because heavens look at you, what they see is defilement in the spirit. Every sexual intercourse in the dream is defilement. Every dream of seeing women with male organs sleeping with one is defilement. All the constant, constant discharge of semen onto your body in the dream and you wake up and discover that you are wet is defilement. Constant, constant, constant. All the dream that somebody wakes up, a, a woman wakes up and you find semen all over your body. You don't know where they came from. It's defilement. All the dream of seeing faces around you. The Lord is telling you that you are being defiled. Sleeping around dirty animals. It's a dream of defilement. 
Someone is rubbing your body with spit or saliva or feces. is all dreams of defilement. Drinking dirty water or using dirty vessels. These are dreams of defilement. They have very serious and deep implications. So if you are still dreaming, you are seeing those things, it's still good. But when a person does not dream at all, the enemy just does what he wants with your life. It's a terrible thing indeed. And it's not that you don't dream. It's just that the enemy has covered your monitor so that you can't see what's happening. All these swimming in dirty water, they are dreams of defilement. Being raped, being kissed, being caressed in the dream by unknown people, they are dreams of defilement. I know a brother who was brought here years back. He was in his dream, he was kissing a lady. The kiss became more aggressive. More aggressive. Until his mouth was actually paining him. And then he woke up. And he noticed that the lips went off from his own lips. The lips of that, the lady went off from his own. And he woke up. And instantly, a man of 52 began to have this chronic asthma. As a result of that dream defilement. Delivering strange babies in the, in the, in the dream is a dream of defilement. Drinking blood in the dreams, dream of defilement. All the spiders, the scorpions, the owls, the vultures attacking you in the dream, they are dreams of defilement. All the dream incisions, they are dreams, they are dreams of defilement. Nakedness in the dream is a dream of defilement. Squeezing blood out of your menstrual pipe, they are dreams of defilement. Seeing yourself in the coffee is a dream of defilement. Eating spoiled food, dream of defilement increased senseless nightmares they are dreams of defilement all the vomiting the dream they are dreams of defilement dirty clothes rags bedwetting they are dreams of defilement the sores the boils seeing naked men naked women they are dreams of defilement any time there is defilement the Almighty gets very angry. The Bible says Daniel go to the palace of Nebuchadnezzar and he purposed in his heart that he will not defile himself with the food they are serving in that place. Because the food was were given to idols. So to eat it will have defiled Daniel. A lot of defilement is going on. And many people are being polluted and they come to, and the thing begins to manifest in real life. And sometimes these things will have manifested before we knew what happened. Anything that is keeping the glory of God from your life is not something you joke with. Anything that makes you to pray and you don't feel the presence of heaven is not something to play with. But if certain things are in your life, they act as anchor to those defilement dreams. They give you filthy dreams. Like I was telling you here on Wednesday, Every anal and oral sex pollutes your life and brings pollution. Sodomy pollutes. In fact, in Bible terminology, oral sex is cannibalism. You are eating the male seed which has the potential to become a human being. So you are eating a human being. All the inordinate affection will bring you dream pollutions. All the filthy communication will bring you these defilement dreams. The filthy conversation, filthy languages, filthy jokes, all the obscene, filthy music, all the filthy materials, pornography, literature, they will bring you all kinds of defilement. All these things that people think they are just innocent things, they cause real trouble. Alcohol and drugs, they bring you defilement. The loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh. They cause defilement. All forms of abortion will bring you defilement. There is something, beloved, which is known as satanic family altar, which is present practically in all homes. It is called television. Television is a great corrupter. A number one killer, a number one witchcraft. It has destroyed countless souls. This destroyer does not need secrecy or darkness to cause havoc. If you ask me to identify the greatest witch, I will say television. Because in most places, they give it prominent position in the sitting room. And once some people sit down and begin to watch television, they lose interest in other things. All the drug abuse, 
wife abuse, children abuse, disobedience, adultery, fornication, blasphemy. Almost every work of the enemy listed in scripture is available on television once you switch it on. In those our early days, immediately it is 11 o'clock. You hear crick, 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 crick. Da, 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 da. Some people don't even know that one. That was our original national anthem. Before we change to the disco one, we sing now. By 11 o'clock, the television will shut down. Now, 24 hours. Not only 24 hours, you can go to as many channels as possible. I've been in a foreign hotel before and they were advertising that, that that you can go to almost 200 channels. And most of what you call Christian TV programs is a mockery of holiness. And filthy films are shown, on ev- ev- are shown every five minutes on television. These things can destroy. But fortunately, the television has a body call on and off. But when you don't switch it off, when you switch it off, that's a powerful way of pollution and disturb, disturbing people's lives. A lot of people are consciously and unconsciously being defied every day. What do we do? You need to repent from all spiritual faithfulness. That's the first key. Repentance. Two, you need complete deliverance. Complete deliverance because once defilement comes into your life, it will have polluted so many parts of your life. And there are so many people watching things, they will be so embarrassed if we bring it here and begin to show it around. Plenty of married couples are watching evil films, claiming that it should be, it's me and my wife, so no problem. No, that is a problem. There is a spirit in that thing that will enter you. The third thing is to watch your eyes and your tongue. Watch your eyes. Watch your tongues. And the fourth thing is to attack this arrow of the wicked called defilement. That's actually why we're here. And then the last thing, you must ensure that in your life, Mr. Flesh is dead. That you kill Mr. Flesh completely. When that is dead, it won't be able to serve as a ladder for the fireman to enter into your life. We have work to do here this morning. A lot of people will think there is nothing wrong. It is because you have not prayed to that level. When you pray to the level, you know there is something wrong. Let's rise up on our feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. These prayers, they are not prayers for joke. But if you pray them from your heart, you'll be amazed at the difference it will make in your spiritual life, the difference it will make in your general life. There are plenty of prayers to pray with few minutes to pray them. So it is dangerous to keep quiet. You need to fetch the water when the rain is falling. Close your eyes now, beloved. But you see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now by raising up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you say that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Find a way to the altar here. Don't run home, just find a way there. These prayers has brought power, strength, deliverance to thousands and thousands. Don't say, I think I've prayed this kind of prayer before. No, no, no. Pray them now under the anointing of the now. Let me hear your voice roaring like thunder as you say, Holy Ghost fire! Incubate my life! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and pray! In 
Jesus name we pray uh-huh. there is somebody who needs to pray that prayer again you need to pray it again because if you pray it this second time two things will happen the yoke of satanic delay will be broken and your inherited battles shall die Holy Ghost fire! Incubate my life! In the name of Jesus! That's right! Master Ponde Katela Kaiba! That's right! Thou power God! In the name of Jesus! Move. In Jesus name we pray now something is about to happen some people here this morning are about to encounter great breakthroughs but don't negotiate with this next prayer messenger of satan in my life in the name of jesus that's right motakatonda kayabo shenteraba Thank you, Jesus. 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 Mokapota Satala Kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. This is wonderful. See so what is happening over there? That's right. That's right. Aha. Satanic authority attacking my life. Can you shout this loud and clear? Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Aha. Jesus. Bakapotende kaya bo shentara baka. Riba sapila katanda ka. Aha, aha, aha. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why you are here. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. yoke against my health can I hear the sister shouting this loud and clear sisters let your voice roar like fire brothers let your voice roar like thunder break in the name of Jesus break the yoke in the name of Jesus. Masetin kaya bo shentera bo kota. The yoke against my health. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus name we pray now I'm praying for some people here you have received attack from your dreams and those attacks have manifested into physical problems father I pray for such people now that every projection of the enemy into their dreams every astral projection every projection of the spiritual husband every projection of witchcraft against such people I arrest them now. Be arrested. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. That's right. Yes, those problems are signed against you from your dream. They are going back to the senders now. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Dark Strangers, release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Let's close our eyes. We want to pray our concluding prayers now. And the concluding prayers are prayers to energize and empower you on this, inside this month. This highly prophetic month. Stretch forward your two hands now. And you are going to prophesy upon those hands yourself. As you pray these prayers, the angels of God who are already here will begin to place materials into the hands. Let us stretch forth my hands. Hear the word of the Lord. Possess my possessions. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy upon your hands now. Jesus name we pray this is the beginning of the ember ember months you will shout this loud and clear every agenda of darkness for the rest of this year I cancel it by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree Cancel it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, with a voice of authority and fire, you will shout this loud and clear. 
Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alas, let my story change in the name of Jesus. Let my story change in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let my story change. In Jesus' name we pray. As you have decreed in your mouth, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. This month you shall arise and shine. The protective power of the blood of Jesus shall be upon you. Tragedy will not be your lot. Sorrow will not be your lot. You shall trample upon every serpent and scorpion. And upon every power of the enemy. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace of fellowship.